And then I heard from him later on in the afternoon that he was taking Corey to the hospital. What time was that? I want to say three-ish, something in that area. That a phone call or a text? I believe that was a phone call. Okay. Um, did he tell you why? He didn't really know why. He no, said... Did he tell you, if you remember, did he tell you why he was taking Corey to the hospital? Because he was lethargic, he did see something's wrong with him. Something's wrong, has to I, I take him, you know. Took him to the hospital. My husband was at the dentist at the time. Um, I called him to let him know something was going on. Get another phone call from Chris that, you know, it, it, something's really wrong with him. What time was that? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You were still home in I was, Monroe? I was home. Okay. I was home. In Monroe? In Monroe. And the next phone call I receive, Chris is hysterical. Hysterical. What did she do to him? What did she... He's screaming on the phone. And I'm like, what? you know, what's going on? And he tells me Corey passed. So I called my husband. I'm flipping out at the house. And my son Danny's home, my youngest. And I'm screaming. He comes, runs upstairs. What's going on? Thank God my husband came home very quickly after that. We got in the car and went down there. So we're calling Chris. Chris is, I, I was so worried because he, he just was so adamant that something happened when he was with his mother. Something happened to him. So I said, Chris, don't go there. Don't go to their house. Don't, don't, just please wait for us. So we left. As we're driving, my son calls me. Which son? Daniel, Daniel, my youngest, he was home by himself. I don't know how long after it this was. He calls me. He's getting phone calls at the house. On our house phone. Threats. People are your your brother's a murderer. You know, this was like it, it was ridiculous how quickly. So when you talk about how quickly, I'm trying to develop a time frame. Yeah. Were you and Mr. Gregor in the vehicle that you were driving to Southern Ocean Methodist when you see that call? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I, 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 you know, it's like the whole thing was such a, such a, we were devastated. We we're crying in the car. We we're calling the police in the car because no one was there. There was no police, nobody. So we we're calling the police. We're trying to find out what's going on. At some point, we get to the hospital. Was and Christopher there? No. Okay. No. And Danny calls us again. That some, Rebecca was at the house. And she was making threats. I just said, you know, go in the house. Just lock the doors, go in the house. Just stay in the house. Now, did you have any communication with Chris during this time period? Yes. Okay. Was it by phone or by text? Both. Okay. What was the first communication you had with Chris? After the phone call you already described for us. I, I don't know times. Okay. I don't know times. Okay. I mean... Well, let's use different things that happened that day. There came a time you went to the... To the police station? Yes. Which police station? Did you I go believe to? it was Barnegat. Okay. Do you recall what time you got to Barnegat? No. Objection. She doesn't remember any of the time, Judge. Well, I wasn't looking at the clock. The police recall the time you got there. She said she doesn't recall. Right. I wasn't looking at a clock. I was hysterical that my grandson had just passed. I wasn't timing things. This is after the hospital? Yes. This is after you arrived at the hospital? Excuse me? This is after you responded to the hospital? We went to the hospital. We were there for a bit. The police came. And then they asked us if we would go to the police station to give a, you know, statement or whatever. And we agreed. And we went. Okay. Phone call with Danny. 
Did it happen prior to that or after that? Oh, it was prior to that. Okay. Was it prior to getting to the hospital? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Now. Not, not the Rebecca one, the getting a phone call at the house. The Rebecca one. I believe that happened at the hospital. Well, we were at the hospital, hospital before you went to Bart. Yes. Okay. Do you remember speaking to Chris after you received that phone call? I didn't speak to him. He was texting. Would you text him? I let him know what was going on. Okay. Um, did you respond? I don't think so. Did you have any communication with him after that, Chris? No. That night? I the next time you had communication? I think the next time I, I had been texting him to let him know things that were going on, because that night, people, friends of ours, were contacting us to tell us there were posts on Facebook saying terrible things about Chris. Um, Saying he was wanted, um, giving our address out, saying. By the way, when you were at the Barnes Police Department, did anybody tell you that they were looking for your son? No. Did you give an interview to Detective Mitchell? I gave it to a detective. I don't know. Okay. I don't even recall his Is name. He a tall, handsome fellow. I don't recall. Okay. The detective you gave the statement to, did he tell you at that moment? that your son was wanted and he was a future? Oh, no, okay. no. So when you were communicating with your son, were you communicating with him the things that were happening to you, your family, and? On Facebook, yeah. When's the next time you spoke to either Christopher or texted to him that he responded? I believe it was the next day. April 3rd. April 3rd. About what time was that? It was probably in the afternoon. And did you know where he was? No. Did there come a time where after that communication that you knew he was coming back? Yes. Okay. When was that? I believe it was that night. April 3rd. April 3rd. Okay. And did you help make the arrangements to get him back? No. Okay. Did he come back? Oh, yeah. And when yeah. was that? That was on the 4th. He, he was back home to the house. But he started making the arrangements to come back, to your knowledge, on April 3rd. April 3rd. Um, do you know where he was when you, when you now started communicating? I didn't know anything until he was stopped, and then we, we found out where he was. I, I had no idea where he was. Where was he stopped? In Tennessee. By the way, when he was stopped, was he taken into custody? No. Did anybody at that time tell you that he was wanted for murder? No. Did anybody at that time tell you he was a fugitive? No. Did they let him go? Yes. Was he in your home the next day? Yes. Did you ever speak with Christopher about taking care of his dog? Yes. And what was that? We didn't speak. It was a text. No. That was the night that he passed. So on the second. Yes. Do you recall about what time that was? No. No further questions.